Welcome to the video series for JICS. Today I'm going to show you some big improvements we made to authentication in JICS 9.3. The intended audience for this video is portal administrators. For the most part, authentication works much as it did in previous versions of JICS. A big difference, however, is that all authentication methods are now located in a single place in Site Manager, the new Authentication Settings page. Here you can set up all the authentication methods used by your site. Each method consists of a fully configured authentication type, which could be SAML, LDAP or Active Directory, or Internal, as well as a name, description, and a set of base roles to which the method applies. When JICS attempts to authenticate a user, it will look at the methods in this list one by one starting at the top. If it finds a method that's assigned to the base role to which the user belongs, it will attempt to authenticate using that method. If a method hasn't been configured for the user's role, JICS will attempt to authenticate using the internal authentication method, which is always at the bottom of the list by default. Now let's take a look at how you add a method. I'll click Add Method, enter a name and description, and select the roles the method applies to. You can select as many roles as you want, but each role can have only one method associated with it. I'll click Next Step and choose the authentication type. You have two options here, LDAP slash Active Directory and SAML. I'll select the first option and click Next Step. And on this page, I can set up one or more LDAP or Active Directory servers that JICS will contact to try to authenticate users associated with this method. When I click Add Server, I then have to specify what kind of server it is. LDAP is selected by default. So here you see the attributes of an LDAP server. If I select Active Directory, the page updates to show the attributes for that type of server. I'm going to fill in the attributes for an LDAP server. Then I'll click Next Step. I can add as many servers as I want here and then reorder them using the arrows in the Order column. JICS will attempt to authenticate using the first server in the list. If that one fails, JICS will move on to the next server and try again, and so on, until the user successfully authenticates or authentication fails on all servers in the list. Once you have all your LDAP or Active Directory servers defined, click Next Step and then Save. Now let's take a look at how you can add a SAML authentication method. I'll click Add Method, enter a name and description, and select the base roles that will use the method. Then I'll click Next Step, select SAML, Click Next Step again. And here we have all the attributes of a SAML authentication method. I'm going to fill in these fields. Then I'll click Next Step. And now I have several authentication methods configured. And I can reorder them as I see fit. Remember, the internal method will remain at the bottom of the list, so it'll serve as the default authentication method for any roles that don't have an associated method in this list. So you've seen the settings for SAML, LDAP, and Active Directory, and now I want to show you the settings available for internal authentication. This method is the usual way of logging in the user with their password via the ADLDS data store. You can't reorder or delete this method, but you can modify some settings related to passwords. If I click Edit next to the internal method, and you can see those settings. You can allow users to change their own password, define minimum and maximum password lengths, and set formatting requirements using a password validation expression. These settings were available in previous versions of JICS. They've just been moved to this page. A few other settings related to authentication are on the Security Settings page in Site Manager. These are under Additional Authentication Settings. 
These settings allow you to let users log in with their email addresses and set up two-factor authentication. These were also available previously. They're just located on a different page now. And that concludes our video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.